what's up youtube pictures by schoolboy back again and welcome back to another photoshop tutorial so in today's video we have this amazing beautiful picture right here and we are going to retouch this image to make it look as professional as possible this raw file was sent to me by a colleague photographer called Elise photography so shout out to him for sending out this raw file for this tutorial i'll put a link to his instagram down in the description so y'all can check him out on instagram yeah so today i've decided to go with the melanin look i think it's been a while i retouched the melanin look so today she has she doesn't have that much melanin in her skin tone but we are going to try our possible best and see how well it works so i'm going to start with the frequency separation and oh don't forget to smash that subscribe and like button so i'm going to start with the frequency separation so i'm just going to go ahead and um do the frequency separation high frequency layer low frequency layer and then we start with the with the frequency separation so that's basically what i'm doing right now so i'm going to select a high radius since it's a beauty shot it's a close-up it's a close-up so there are much details in the skin so we need a higher blur radius to retain as much texture as possible so i'm going to use a, a blur radius around 15 15 yeah i think 15 will work with this image if it doesn't work we are going to go back and we are going to change things up just a little bit so that's basically what i'm doing so i'm going to apply image low frequency layer and then hit ok and change the blend mode to linear light i'm pretty sure you know the steps involved in frequency separation if you chance or if you are watching on this video so let me the lasso two is already selected so let's go ahead and uh, start working on the skin and see the the radius of blur that we are going to use for the final skin so as i said earlier i want to go with a melanin type of color grading with this image so we are going to see how well uh, it turns out so gaussian blur and then i'm going to choose a higher radius since i choose a higher radius for the first blur it's advisable to choose another higher radius for this one too so that it complements the first blur that we apply so i think i'm going to do 40. yeah i think 40 is fine i think 40 looks natural so here is the before and here is the after so let's go ahead and uh complete the rest of the the skin the entire skin and uh, see how yeah i think 40 40 looks great 40 looks amazing it looks natural you wouldn't even tell with perform frequency separation and she has an amazing skin and skin tones too so there aren't much blemishes on her skin so it it makes everything comes together perfectly and looks natural as possible i always try to go with the more natural look you know the picture should look as a little bit natural you know it, it shouldn't always look like an edited or retouched image sometimes it has to look a little bit believable so as you can see let me zoom out so here is a quick before and after again as you can see it's turning out so great we are going to crop the image so we are going to get rid of the topmost and the downmost part of the image and um i think i think the final result is going to be amazing so let's continue with the frequency separation and then when we are done we are going to remove the little blemishes 
the blemishes left on the skin with um with them um, um how do we call it the 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 st clone stamp too and then we we'll continue from there so i think i'm done i'm done with the face i think I, it's left with the nose so let's see what we can do right here i don't know if i'm going to use the same radius for the nose i normally bring down the radius for the nose to make it looks a little more nice but i think with this one we are going to use no i don't think we are going to use the same radio so let me undo it and uh, reduce the radius for the nose so i think i'm going to do 20 yeah i think 20 is fine and it looks fine this way so here's another before and after so the next thing that we are going to do is uh is to select the high frequency layer and select the the um the, the the clone stamp too so let me check if I, my eyes and white teeth action is there because we are going to use that action also i have a link to everything down in the description i have a melanin skin tone everything is linked down in the description so in case you want to download it the link is right there so i'm going to increase the brush size just about here and um, i'll sample an area and then i'll clone just as always you sample and then you clone you sample and then you clone i'm done i think i'm done oh shoot i think i'm done so we are going to move on to the next stage we are going to move on to this part of her body so i'm going to select my lasso tool back again and i'm going to continue with her neck and I think we are going to go back to the higher radius because we've brought our radius back down to 20 instead of 40. So let's see if the 20 will work with. No, I don't think it, it looks nice. We are going to go back to 40. And uh, I think the 40 looks nice. I think it looks nice. So we are going to continue with the rest of the skin we are going to crop this part so that's why i didn't select make selection of that part because we are going to crop yeah so i think it's nice i think it's nice i think the blur i should have performed a, a frequency separation separately for for this part of the skin because the radius doesn't work best with her skin because her face was in focus and this part of the image was a little bit out of focus so it doesn't work best so we are going to go ahead and undo whatever that we just did and um, we are going to crop the image and continue you know with the retouching so let me make the frequency separation and hit C to select the crop tool and then go ahead and crop the image so I think right about here is okay now let me crop it again let me go down just just a little bit you know so I think right about here is fine so the next thing that we are going to do is to you know run our eyes and teeth whitening action and 
start whitening the her eyes and her teeth so i'm going to run it real quick and then i'm going to select this layer and then select brush and then make sure my foreground color is white because we are going to be painting on black and then zoom in and start working on the on her teeth I think it's going to turn out pretty pretty nice so let's see the opacity to let's say 75 i think 75 is okay so here is a before and after and as you can see it looks amazing so i'm going to merge going to merge these layers and um, i'm going to perform the frequency separation again on the um, on the on her chest on her chest because it needs a different radius the radius that we used for the face wasn't the good radius for for the rest of the skin so it didn't work well so we have to you know redo that separately so i'm going to go ahead and uh, finish with this part of the skin it won't take long and i'll get back to you guys on the color grading don't click off the video stay tuned Alright, so I'm done with I'm done with the the chest. I'm done with her chest. Let me say it that way. I'm done with this part of the body. So the entire body is complete right now. So the next thing that we are going to do is to move on to the color grading. So the first thing that I'm going to do is to follow the normal melanin style of color grading that i always do which is go to the black and white adjustment layer first and then change the blend mode from normal to multiply so as you can see the skin is very very dark right now so the next thing that i'm going to do is to bring down the opacity the opacity to let's say 30 so i think 30 is okay so here is a before and here is the after as you can see it adds a little bit of darkness to her skin tones so the next thing that i'm going to do is to go to the is to go to the um the photo filter and then choose a filter that complements her skin tones well so we are going to start with the warming filter and you know go through 
all these filters and see the one which looks best on the image so i'm going to move down the scroll button on my mouse just to circle through as you can see this is how the cooling filters looks on the image and i don't want to go with a cold kind of look i want the image to be a little warm i want it to have warm tones so i think i'm going to go with this yellow but let's check out the rest and see how well those ones works with the image as well so i think the deep yellow too looks nice bit but it's a little too yellow and um i think the sepia too looks nice but i think we are going to go with the yellow yeah so here is a before and here is the after before and after so let me zoom out just a little bit here is before and here is the after before and after so the next thing that we are going to do is to select the curves adjustment layer and add more depth to the shadows so we are going to hold alt or you can just drag it and look at it this way but if you really want to see how it's affecting the image you hold alt and then you click and then drag so you start to see this so as you can see but i'm just going to leave that and drag it this way i think i see it nice this way yeah so i think i'm going to leave it on five i think five looks nice so here is the before and here is the after all right so the next thing that we are going to do is to go to the selective color adjustment layer and play with the rest just a little bit as you can see the skin tones contains the reds so we are going to see how much of yellows we should add and how much of reds we should add so i'm going to zoom in just a little bit so i think it's it's nice to add just a little bit of yellows i think plus six is okay and with the reds to just open up the science a little bit i think around i think 20 is okay so here is the before and here is the after all right so the next step that we are going to take is to go to the color balance and try to balance the colors of the shadows midtones and highlights so we are going to start with the shadows as always and see and see how we can you know yeah so i think i think five is okay as i said earlier i want to go with a more warm tone to the skin tone so everything that we are doing is channel towards warm or anything red so let's see if i add a little bit blues too it looks nice but i think i'm going to add more yellows to make it look more warm so i think plus four is okay it's okay for minus six it's okay for the yellows here is a quick before and after as you can see it has taken the image to a different level so here is a before and after of what we've done so far before and after so the next thing that i'm going to do is to go to the highlights being the background and um, these parts and um, see what colors we should add at that area too so i think i'm going to add just a little bit of science i think minus two or minus three is okay and i'm going to see if we are going to add blues yeah just a little bit of blues to make the highlights pop up a little bit so i think plus 30 is fine for the highlight so this is how it looks now and then we are going to move on to the midtones bear in mind the midtones affect the entire colors of the image since the midtones lies between the highlights and the shadows so you have to be very careful 
with the midtones so we are going to we might even leave it blank like that but let's just play with it a little bit and get a little bit context as to how it can make the image turn out so i think at this point the reds are a little bit too much so i'm just going to leave it at plus one plus two i think plus two is fine and i'm gonna come to the blues and see if i should add just a little bit of blues or more yellows but i think i'm going to add just a little bit of blues just a little bit so i think plus two is okay and then we are done so here's the before of the color balance and here is the after before and after so let's put all this into one folder Con control g and zoom out just a little bit and uh, here is the before and here is the after before and after so as you can see it turned out pretty nice in my opinion before and after i think it wasn't that melanish but at least we had some cool warm tones in there and um the, the skin kind of looks a little bit goldish but it, it looks nice it looks nice it's pretty nice so here is a another before and after so that will be the end of today's video i hope you enjoyed this video very very well and learned something new as always a link to my melanin skin tone and some few other actions is always down in the description box below so make sure you go there and download my melanin skin tone lat and uh, you know try it out on your images and see if it works with them but you know that will be the end make sure you subscribe to my channel if you are new smash the like button if you enjoyed this video and I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.